And on the right, we have Manet's Olympia, which was created in 1863. Uh, the characters included in this painting were uh, Olympia, uh, a maid, and a cat. Um, this painting is uh, very controversial because it challenged the common perception of women in art. And um, usually, uh, I believe Venus was uh, usually used to depict beauty and the majestic uh, nature of women in paintings and um, here we see Olympia being painted and she has imperfect features um, she's very uh, very confrontational she's uh, looking at the audience directly um, she's uh, almost confronting us seems as if she's deep into thought um, and any uh, academic representation is stripped from uh, this piece altogether uh, the shape uh, and space the shape of her body uh, space in the painting and the uh, lack of mythology in, in the composition uh, really show how um, the academy had no part in uh, the influence of this uh, piece and uh, uh, great art was usually based on like classical and renaissance art and uh, this painting is using uh, realism uh, and it seems as if Manet is saying that paintings should reflect real life and uh, not the imagined uh, typical um, features and idea of, uh, of women and um, it, it, it's almost as if he wanted to uh, remove the illusion of uh, the ideal woman in, uh, during this time. Um, the, uh, these paintings are very different. Uh, because on the left, Peter Paul Rubens' elevation of the cross is very detailed. Um, it, it is very structured. Um, the bodies are uh, aligned in a way where it's creating a pyramid and it's uh, causing the focal point to be uh, on Jesus. And um, the, 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 the paint is very refined and smooth. And on the right, we have Manet's... Uh, very rough um, interpretation of uh, what women uh, actually look like. And, and you can see the strokes uh, of the paintbrush um, that he used. And, and the outline of her body is done in, in black and um, very hard lines. Uh, uh, she has very small lips. Her features are not um, things, uh, her features are not created in a way that um, is desired by most most people and um, and usually when women are painted in, during this time the, usually when women were painted during this time uh, they, they, they wouldn't be confronting the audience as she's doing um, it seems as if she's in a almost in a position of power and she's uh, yeah. it, it definitely rub people the wrong way. Um, some similarities I, I see is uh, the use of uh, dark spaces um, to create a, to force the viewer to look in certain directions. Um, we want the body to be uh, the focal point in, uh, in this area, so we're gonna make the outside of the painting very dark so you focus uh, toward the center. Um, and, and I see that in both of these images, uh, where Jesus, most of the illumination on, on the painting on the left, Peter Paul Rubens' elevation is on Christ's body, and um, the contrast between light and dark is uh, very present.